Sylvester McNutt the third, Nan the Savage here. We want to talk about how to deal with rejection. A lot of people deal with rejection. Ugh. A lot of people don't know how to deal with rejection. I just don't deal with it. We're going to give you five ways to get through it, get over it, deal with it, manage it, so you can have the happy life that you deserve. Step number one. Don't, don't take it personally. take it personally. You're so on the same page. We're going to have a link to the other video called How to Not Take Things Personally. Definitely watch that video. It's a good video. There's a lot of tactics, a lot of strategies. That's going to help you not take things personally. You don't have to take rejection personally. I'm going to give you one little quote, one thought on it, because this will save you. When someone rejects you, understand that they are not rejecting you. They are rejecting the situation. If I ask her out right now, hey, let's go out, let's go get pizza. And she says no. First of all, I have to understand that there are many reasons to why she could be saying no. Because all women like pizza and food, so there has to be a reason. Maybe she has a kid at home that she doesn't have a babysitter for. Maybe she's sick. Maybe she's training to be in the NPC bikini contest and she can't eat the carbs right now. Maybe she's just got through a bad breakup and she's not ready to date. Maybe, maybe they're not her type. Maybe she's not into me. That's okay. I don't have to take it personally. Understand that there's more opportunity out there. If you apply to a college and you get denied, there's other colleges. If you apply to whatever hospital you thought you were going to work at and they say no we don't want you here there's other hospitals there's always more opportunity there is an abundance of everything in the world so when you get denied declined or rejected don't take it personally because you got to understand there's more opportunity this is the third thing that you have to do and nanny savage does this so well she's going to explain it to you <laughs> this is why i say i just don't deal with rejection i accept rejection as it happens i'm just in the moment i'm like oh well that happened move on okay i accepted that it happened i move on from there there's no point in just sitting there and i mean you're allowed to take your moment right you're allowed to have a moment but let it just be that let it just be a moment have your emotions and then get over it and move on because otherwise you're just going to be unhappy why why? The next thing that you have to do is understand that rejection does not define who you are. Mm -hmm. This really ties back into not taking things personally. Don't allow your ego to be so big that once you get rejected, it shuts down everything that you are. And it completely stops you from moving forward, from working hard, from chasing your goals, or, or from finding a lover that may reciprocate the love you want to give them. Also, wouldn't it be boring if you just got everything you wanted all the time? You wouldn't, I mean, you'd have no opportunities to build your character, to know right, how you right, are when right. you're struggling, to, to, to just overcome things. Like, you, you just wouldn't know, and then you'd be the most boring man in the world. Poor woman. Rejection is good because, like she said, it does build character. And if you're smart, if you care about awareness, about consciousness, about growing as a person, rejection is a great thing because there, there can be a lot of truth in rejection, too. Yeah. There can be a lot of reasons that you're getting rejected. Don't belittle yourself, right? Big up yourself and say, let me look at why I got rejected. What can I do better? What can I learn? What can I do to make it so I bring the most value to the table? Because that's what rejection is about. You get rejected because you're not offering enough value to the situation. So in closing, understand that rejection is not a bad thing. Don't look at it like it's a negative thing. Just understand that everybody has areas of opportunity where they can improve understand that when it comes to dating and love if you're getting rejected that you might not match with that person and that's perfectly okay well also if somebody if, if I've ever been interested in somebody mm -hmm. and I put out there that I'm interested in them and mm -hmm. I get rejected and they're like oh I'm not I, like you're not really my type or mm -hmm. I'm not not into that I immediately don't want to be with that. Why would you want to be with somebody that right. doesn't want to be with you? Right. That, and like, like why, why are you like, chasing them, trying to like, convince them to like you? Does it make any sense? Like, if you were like, I don't like you, why would I want to be around you and pretend like it just doesn't, it, it makes no sense. So like, you know, as soon as somebody rejects you, you should reject them as well as mm, far as being a yep. um, romantic interest. I don't want to be with somebody that doesn't want to be with me. That doesn't right. make any sense in my head. Right. Thanks for watching this. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you feel. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you feel. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Peace and love to you.